Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Jeff with Bear River Blogger and today I'm going to do a quick little video on a blog post I wrote actually last year sometime about using the Google Photos app to help identify birds. I get a lot of people that actually ask me how to identify birds um, with your phone and it's pretty easy if you got the Google Photos app on your phone. It You can get it on either iPhone or Android. You just go to the appropriate uh, app store and download Google Photos the app and um, just run it from there. So let me show you how, you, how it works. Um, let me first you upload the, the Google Photos app on your phone. Um, once you get it running, that's what the icon looks like down here at the bottom. It looks kind of like a colored propeller if you can see that. You click on that and it pulls up the Google, uh, the Google app. And I don't want to back anything up. But what I want to do is I go down here to library and it pulls up all the photos on my phone. And we'll use this one here. This is one I just took off my website just a few minutes ago. It's a yellow-headed blackbird, so we'll click on that. And once you get to this screen, you'll see down at the bottom here by my thumb, it'll say Lens. You click on that. And what it does is it analyzes the photo and it puts this little white box around it. And what down here at the bottom, what it does is give you your results. And it identified it as a yellow-headed blackbird, which is correct. If you want to find more information out, you can see that search bar there. You can search Google for yellow-headed blackbirds. Or you can scroll down here and it'll actually bring up websites that are talking about yellow-headed blackbird. This one right there underneath my thumb, that's actually mine, Bear River Blogger. So there's an article I wrote about the yellow-headed blackbird. So the uh, Google Photos app will pull up websites that have written about the yellow-headed blackbird as well as the photos um, to help you identify it. Now, if it doesn't quite grab the right part of the photo, you can actually use your thumb move this box around or you can make it bigger or smaller so you can just hone in on what part of the photo you want the google app the google photos app to identify so once you get that then you just pull it back up again and you can see it still identifies it as a yellow-headed blackbird so it works pretty easily you just have to open up the app first and then open the photo in the app and then from there it uh you just hit the uh Get down here that lens at icon down here underneath my thumb and then that analyzes the photo and then it just gives you your results most of the time it's very accurate that i found sometimes it'll give you a couple of birds that are fairly close that it had a hard time discerning between the two but it'll help narrow it down and then from there i can usually tell by you know geography if the birds are common around here or not to help narrow it down even further but a lot of the time it actually gets you the right birds so it's very um it's very accurate and I use it for not just birds but butterflies wildflowers even insects just about anything I want to identify if I got a good enough picture on it I run it through the Google Photos app and see what it says and it'll narrow it down really well and then I can usually get from go from there and, and make the you know final determination or a lot of times like I said it'll uh, it'll get it right on so it's pretty handy because if you've got a smartphone um, you can put this app on. If you've got an Android, you probably have the Google Photos app on it anyway. But if you have an iPhone, you can easily get on the, uh, the iPhone app store and download the Google Photos app and just run it through there. So it's pretty, uh, pretty easy to use. And it gives you a lot of cool results uh, once you get the, uh, the bird identified. So I like it. I use it all the time. I mean, literally all the time. So it's pretty handy to have that on your phone. And it works pretty quickly and it gives you a lot more information um, about what you're looking for. So anyway, if you have any questions about it, you can um, ask the questions down in the comments below. Or um, I will link, link uh, in the description to the article, the blog post I wrote last year on how to use the Google Photos app for a little bit more detailed information on it. But it's really pretty easy. Just get the app on your phone, open the app first then upload the you know, make sure you open the photo in the app and then just hit the uh the, the lens but the lens icon down at the bottom and then just let it analyze the photo and go from there so it's really simple to use and then just change the box if you need to size wise or position it anywhere else on the photo you want it to identify and just look at the results at the bottom pretty simple so Anyway, hopefully that helps you guys that have smartphones and want to learn how to use your phone to help identify birds from pictures you've taken or even pictures you've just downloaded from the internet. It, it works both ways. As long as you can get them on your phone, 
you can analyze any photo on there so the key is you just have to open the app first and then bring the photo into the app so um, that's the only the only thing you got to do first but other than that it's pretty simple so anyway I hope this helps and if you like this channel feel free to follow uh, follow us here and don't forget to follow us at bearverblogger.com and we will catch you on the next video update.